Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're looking in on the African night crawlers that used to be in the urban worm bag. So I took the urban worm bag off of the stand, cleaned up around the zipper, and I was rinsing it all off and was about ready to start putting it back together, and I noticed this. I'm not sure if it really matters, but it is it is coming off. I don't I don't really know what that is. So I didn't even get around to trying to fix the zipper. I just kind of was like, okay, this thing's just shot in several different ways. So that's it for the urban worm bag. Wah wah. Um, but for I don't know what it was, seventy five dollars or something. Uh, I got a couple years use out of it. It's fine. I'm I'm not going to complain and ask for my money back or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to call it a done deal. And right now, they're in this really huge um, tote, which I think is where they started out. I don't even know how much it is. It's big. Um, it's holding an entire urban worm bag full of stuff, so that's how big it is. Um, so right now I'm trying to let it dry out a little bit so that I can harvest it and um, then I don't know what's 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 next for for the African nightcrawler so you can tell it is pretty dry on top here and that is on purpose I am trying to get this to dry out and sift it so I can harvest it so that these worms can move on to whatever is next so uh, let's see, everybody's favorite kind of compostable bags. Sassy little baby African night crawler there. So I'm going to start moving out the <clears throat> part that is, is finished as it's getting dry enough to sift. I'm going to just start moving that over. And um, you can see quite a bit of it is it's getting there. This isn't quite siftable couple days maybe um, but you can tell it's it's pretty done except for the the bark chips and the bags that they're getting there if you're determined to use compostable bags I mean I microwaved it first so this one's been in here for I don't know a month so if you're determined to do that sort of thing that's you're in for the long haul is the story there so this is where we're at with the African night crawlers. I'm going to start moving all this stuff over to the side that I'm going to harvest. And I will feed them. I will keep feeding them. So I'm going to move my forest of avocado trees. And then now that I'm down a little bit deeper where it's a little wetter, I'm going to feed them over on this side which I'm just going to I'm just going to refer to as the the water side. So just going to kind of dig a trough here. And just whatever random stuff is on the countertop, which has been a lot of tea, avocados, um, kiwis. having a little wisdom tooth problem right now so I'm not really eating solid food so there's not a lot of stuff happening in the in the food department but that's what they're gonna get for right now and um, gonna cover them up uh, let me know what you think one of my plans for these guys when the urban worm bag finally did bite the dust was to get a vermi bag uh, mini mammoth the one that's kind of wider than it is tall let me know what you think. Um, where you have your African night crawlers, what works. Um, you know, I'd like to see them get some size back on them. I mean, when I bought these guys, these were the size of a pencil. So, you know, I, it's not necessary that they're bigger, but, you know, if I'm going to go to the trouble of having tropical worms, you know, it'd be nice if they were 
big and, and cool looking, I guess. So if you have them and have experience with them, um, let me know where do you think they do best. I think they did exactly the same in this tote where they were originally as they did in the Urban Worm bag. I don't see that they did any different. I also don't find that the harvesting was any easier for me um, in the bag than it is in a bin like this, although this is kind of too deep. Anywho guys, so that is the update on what happened with the urn bag. So the, the African night crawlers have moved residents and now they're in just the ye old Rubbermaid tote. Alright guys, well if you liked the video, give me a muddy thumb up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.